Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to make this four step card. This is a six by six version. You can make these in any size. Some people add an extra piece here so it closes like a card. So you open it up and then this comes out as well. But I've just stuck with the four here. I think I've done a three on the channel and I've got other kind of step cubes and things like that. So I'll add this to the playlist. I thought it's July, I've got to do a little bit of Christmas in July. I'm not going to do too much, maybe two or three cards. I will be starting my full-blown Christmas makes at the beginning of November, but I will be also launching my own collection very soon. So this is what we're going to make. You've got room on the back there to be able to decorate further and write your message. So let me show you how I made it. So I've got this template here. So you want a piece of cardstock that's nine by six. So I've got my white piece here. But I wanted to do this template. It just helped me explain it better during the live. Now I have done pencil lines all the way through here so I've kind of got a grid and then I've just popped the black lines and the red is the cut line so you can see already there where I've cut into it. So what I think is best to do is I'm going to score directly onto this one and I'm going to talk you through how I score. You might want to lightly do the grid all over the cardstock you want to use and then score where I'm going to tell you and then use your trimmer or your cutting knife to cut these sections here. Like I said, I during the live I just went straight in to score this and all I'm going to do is score all of these lines here and use my scoreboard, the measurements along there. So if you don't want to use the scoreboard and you want to mark all the pencil marks first of all, you want to mark along the top and the bottom one and a half first of all, then at three, then at four and a half, six and seven and a half. So every one and a half you want to put a little marker on with a pencil and then again you know you could just sit your cardstock at the top here and just mark again at every one and a half. Then you want to pop it on its side and you're going to do one and a half, three and four and a half and again one and a half, three and four and a half. And just join those markers up along the top and the bottom until you have that grid. OK, and now we want to start the scoring. So I want to make sure you can get the measurements in at the top there. And then you can just see this here. So first of all, if you've got all your grid marks in now, you just want to score at one and a half down to one and a half so you'll have your little grid there so you're just going to score down I'm going to just use the side of my scoreboard here and I'm going to score one and a half down to one and a half like so next I'm going to score at three down to three okay three all the way down to three Again, if you don't have a ruler on the side of your scoreboard, just pop a ruler there and you can even lay a ruler down right underneath the number if you'd prefer. Then a lady mentioned in the live just to flip the card around like so and do again that mark. So one and a half down to one and a half and then three down to three. OK, now all we need to do is this middle score line here. So it's at the halfway mark, so it's at four and a half, but you're gonna miss the first one and a half and miss the last one and a half. You just wanna score from one and a half down to four and a half. So I'm gonna come in here, you can see roughly there, so one and a half down to four and a half, about there. OK, so you can see there's my four lines or five, because obviously that one there as well. So one, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to pop it on the short side and now I'm going to get everything in shot there. I'm now going to join up this marker. So the end now you're focusing on the end of the score lines. So I'm going to join that one up to this one here and that's at the one and a half inch. So again, I'm just kind of hovering it over there, I'm going to start joining it up here. And you'll kind of find your track and then come all the way down. If I haven't joined up, that's that's better. If you go over, then you might have to just kind of burnish the um, score line, kind of rub it out. If you've done your grid with your pencil marks, then you won't go over anyway. But this is me being a bit lazy in all honesty. I just go in this way. <laughs> it's kind of how I work. So you can see there, I've not joined that up. So I'm just going to pop it back in 
can just join them up there. So back to that way again. So we've just done this score line, although it's a cut line as well. I just think it's quite good to score them. Next, you want to come down to the next one where you've got the end and you're going to join that to the next end one. And that's at three inches. So pop in my stylus in the track like so. And again, you can see I've not joined that one up. So popping it back in and that's at six inches. So I'm just going to join that up. So you can start to see now how we've got this kind of step effect coming down. And then I'm just going to flip it now to the other end. So we've just joined up that line and that line. So now I'm flipping it and I'm going to join up this last one here. So again, it's at the one and a half. So I'm going to start there and then come down again. Not quite joined it up, so that's fine. I can come in that way and these then I know it's nice and neat. You'll see now we've got that pattern, which is exactly the same as that. Now, when you cut, you're just cutting these three lines. You're cutting between those two, which again, you can see there. So I'm just going to get rid of the scoreboard and get my cutting mat out. OK, so I've got my metal ruler and you want to make sure you're cutting nice and nice and sharp. And I'm going to sit this down. So first of all, I'm cutting this one here. So make sure you just push the ruler right down and then with your knife on a slight angle, you're going to cut into the ruler. So all the way down, like so. So if I just bring that up, you'll see now I've cut that slot. And then again, do the middle one and the same with the last one. If you don't have a cutting knife or you don't like using the cutting knife and ruler, then you can use your trimmer because you can just drop the pin down and just move that where you need it to go. Next, we want to just start to fold them. Now, I'm going to actually stamp in these ones here. So I'm going to do that now and then decorate it. But I want to stamp it while this is still completely flat. But we do next want to burnish it and I'll show you that in a second. OK, so I've just gone and stamped ho, 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 and I've popped a little image of a present there and I'm going to colour that in in a moment. So next you want to do your folding. So start with the top. That score line here is going to become a valley and this one a mountain. OK, so actually all of those need to be valleys. So if you just kind of push all of these ones here so they all become valleys. And then just start pushing this out, the rest will just fall into place. So if you just focus on, like I said, these ones here, so they're all a valley fold, all these will become mountains. And then you'll be able to fold the whole thing over into the six by six size and then just burnish it with your bone folder. Just be careful, you don't want to get any markings. So I wouldn't burnish this because you might mark and this is the front of your card. So I'm going to just go under here and just burnish those score lines just keeps everything nice but now you'll see it's almost flat and then they're really easy for the person to open it up and stand it up and you can see the ho 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 there it looks really cool so that's the main card blank now you may have done all of this in pattern paper so you won't need to worry about your mats and layers so what I would suggest you do in first is make the template which I've got here because now I just use that on all my coloured paper and I just draw around this and cut it out so I'll keep that with all my other templates. So if you cut yourself a piece of scrap paper to five and three quarters by five and three quarters, and then with a ruler. So all the squares are the same within this section here. So these uh, three, six, nine, they're all the same size. These ones are slightly different. They're more of a rectangle. So you want to mark at one and a quarter, two and three quarters and four and a quarter, and then do the same along the bottom. So one and a quarter, two and three quarters and four and a quarter. Join those lines up. Now, when you rotate it, make sure you rotate it because this is the one and a quarter. Rotate it so that now is over this side here. And then again, do the same. One and a quarter, two and three quarters and four and a quarter. And again, one and a quarter, two and three quarters and four and a quarter and just join up the line so you've made the grid like I have. When you go to mark all this off here, make sure you've got your one and a quarter here and so on. You'll see anyway. And then you're just going to mark out so they're all the one and a 
half by one and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's what you're going to cut away to give you this. OK, so you're keeping all of those rectangle ones on your template. And then you've got three one and a half by one and a half squared sizes in the middle there. I'll take photos of this again. It will go onto my blog, so you'll have that for reference. Once you've got your template, and like I said, you can then just lay it on your paper. So I'm using this lovely paper from the same pad that I used for this one. So you can see the stars there and it's called North Star. It was actually out last, I think it was last year. So I'm using this one here because I thought it still looked like a snowy background. So I think for the front, I'm going to have this corner down here. So I'm just going to sit this. I'm actually going to flip it over. So all the pencil marks on the back. And I'm just going to lay the template down and then just draw around it. Now, this is a non-directional paper, so it doesn't really matter, you know, how I have this, but I'm going to have that one in the corner. And then so to not waste this paper, I'm then going to bring my template down and bring it as close as I can to the previous one. In fact, I'll come out a little bit just so I can fit my pencil lines in. And then again, I'm just going to draw around this one. OK, and then if you want to do two more for the back, then just draw around two more. But now I'm just going to cut all of that out. OK, so now I'm going to stick those down. So that's stuck down. I've actually just swapped it because I just I love this snow effect here. But if it's down here, you're not really going to see it because I'm going to do the same decoration here minus the flowers. Whereas just with the Merry Christmas up there, I think it's you're just going to see all that more. So I've already gone ahead and cut all these and I've had a couple of the gnomes left over from the live. And I'll just show you everything I've used. So the gnomes are from an old issue of card making and paper craft magazine it's from 2018 and it's nick the gnome but i know some people had success getting this off of ebay i believe if i can find some links i will share them it's really cute and then you also had these which was a november edition which was the cutest couple they're very sweet as well so i've used that and then i've taken the merry christmas this was a hobby base die for the sentiment which i've already done there and i die cut it with foam and then a glitter card and that's going to go on the top there. So it's really lifted. It's got lots of dimension, looks really nice. And then for the big tree here, so I'm going to have more trees on the front. It's the paper discovery and it was the elegant room builder and it builds a lovely Christmas scene. There's little Christmas decorations, but because this is more of a woodland outdoors, I didn't bother with the decorations. And for the poncettias on that one, it's this here, which is a Lisa Horton Creative Expressions one, I think it was again a couple of years ago, and it's the Cut and Lift collection, it was the Poncettias. Again, if I can find any of those uh, links, I will share them below. But I'm just going to pretty much copy this one. I'll talk through the glitter that I've added at the end. Actually, no, I'll show that before I stick the gnomes down. It's sparse show it now. It's just the Nouveau Vintage drops in white. So I just squeeze it along. And then whilst it's still wet, I just use this inexpensive snow-like glitter and sprinkled it over the top. And that's what gave me that really nice effect. So you'll see me do that in a moment. And then, yeah, I'm just going to stick them down and then trim it. So I think I'm going to do them three staggered like that. And then just a couple more lifted on foam. So it's just got more of that, that woodland look. So I've actually got five of them there. And then I've got my three little gnomes, which I'm going to pop on the front around the presents.
card all finished now so you'll just see me add the glitter and I've just layered everything up so it's still drying a bit there but I love the ho 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 that appears on the side so although they are the same card style I think that slight change in decoration there so you can see these ones here are actually one and a quarter squared pieces if you do want a mat there because I don't think I mentioned that again it will all be in my blog both ways look really nice but I do really love that ho 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 and then they both stand up really nicely so thank you for watching today as always everything that i've used will be listed in the description box below there'll be some more tutorials popping up now the playlist for these kind of cards i've probably already shared along the way uh, so yeah have a look at that maybe watch the videos that are showing if you haven't subscribed click on the subscribe button hit the bell and it will go red and that way you'll be notified every time i upload a new video thanks for watching and i'll be back again soon